Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pharmacon. So, uh, Pharmacon, um, well, it showed up in my inbox one day, uh, b b a couple of weeks ago. And I've been meaning to check it out. It, um, it is a partial, it's a puzzle game. It's, it's mostly a puzzle game. But with some strategic elements to it, it rewards planning uh, and uh, thinking a few steps ahead. Uh, so let's uh, let's just dive right in, shall we? No tutorial for us, please. So basically, the way this works is we have a little drone here, um, and we have a series of parts. And yes, they look like Tetris pieces. They are Tetris pieces. Um, unfortunately, you can't rotate them. Each of these parts, when fitted to your drone, will allow you to do damage uh, to a certain element of creature. Uh, and certain parts are good against certain elements of, of creatures here. Uh, so, uh, we basically want to fit as many of these as we can, but uh, again, keeping in mind we can't rotate. Um, so, as little wasted space as poss possible. Uh, although I'm not a big fan of these two square pieces. Yeah, that's going to be a little wasted space there. I hate these little... Oh, actually. Hmm. Five out of six ain't bad. Um, you'd have to have perfect alignment in order to, to be able to cram all six in there. It's random each time, by the way. And yes, these are all the same element. So if I come up against a frost creature, I'm kind of screwed. As you defeat enemies, you get, you level up and you can unlock certain abilities here. Now, the way combat works here, and this is the, this is the, the, the puzzly part of it, um, is each of these creatures has a certain number of hit points. They have a certain size to them. Now, every time that you attack a creature in, um, in a way that doesn't kill them, uh, they will, uh, they will counterattack. They will retaliate and blast you. Um, so that, uh, obviously you don't want that. Uh, what you do want to do is if you, uh, depending on which side you attack a creature from, that will push them in that direction. If you push a creature into another creature, that will cause some collateral damage from the two of them smacking into each other. Also, when a creature dies, it explodes. It explodes rather spectacularly. Um, so, um, yeah, doing, uh, doing that is uh, helps enhance your damage here. So, let's see what we got here. We've got an electrical guy, which we can do 15 damage to. Um, but we can't kill them in one. Now, if you shoot a creature and they don't die, they get a counterattack against you. Um, so, but this guy we can kill in one with 20. So let's knock him into, do a little extra damage there. And then he, he blows up when he dies. And now this guy's at 12. We do 15 damage to electric creatures. So we can, uh, just ice him without issue. Also, the more collateral damage a creature takes, the more its rage builds up. If its rage goes over maximum, it'll attack you even if you didn't attack it directly. Uh, so you kind of have to manage their rage here. Uh, now this guy, 18, I can just snipe him. Doesn't matter which way he goes. This mission is far from easy. And now we got a little experience thanks to uh, the damage we inflicted. Let us press on. All right, once again, two um, two of these guys, one of the electric. Slightly different arrangements here. Um, but I think we can take them out just fine. Yeah, 15. Now, see, if now here's, here's the thing. So if I would shoot this guy right here and then him blow up and cause a little damage to him his rage would go over maximum and he'd do a full force two damage attack against me and that's 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 not good you'll see you'll see what what uh, being attacked does um and and how it can get rather annoying quickly and how crippling it can get but since we can take him out in one shot he won't get his rage attack 
And now this little guy is uh, at maximum rage, but we're just going to ice him before he can do anything about that. Beside, despite all of his rage, he is still just a whatever the heck that thing is in the planes. Alright, let us continue on. Next stage here. These are all, uh, to my knowledge, randomly generated encounters, although calibrated based on your ship here. So it starts out with elements that are in your favor to take out. Uh, but then as you go on, um, things become more difficult. So here we have a water guy. We only do 10 damage and he's got 20. So we're going to want to soften him up just a touch. Let's see here. If we smack him into him. Yeah, I think that'll soften them up respectively. Smack. Alright, so he's got a little uh he's got a little bit of rage there. He's got a little bit of rage too. The bag elephant. Now we do want to soften this guy up a bit more. He's at maximum rage, so any kind of collateral damage to him that doesn't kill him will set him off. This guy has no rage, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take... We're going to have to eat at least one attack here, because... Uh, unless we do six damage... If we can get this guy to blow up on him. Yeah. We get, because the, the amount of damage these guys do is el also elementally based. So if you have the electric guy blow up near the water guy, that's going to do a lot of extra damage. So let's knock him over this way. Boo! Oh, so close. Well, we smack him into him. Now this guy's at maximum range. But we can at least take him out. Smack. And now he gets angry and does this quite a damage. So he will damage a random square on our thing. If there's a part, it gets moved back here. Now we can repair the damage based on our repair bars. And we happen to have uh, plenty of this element to repair. So we will fix that, put our part back into place, get our strength back up. Yeah, let's knock you over. We're going to eat an electric attack, unfortunately. And then at this point, we can just snipe the two of them. It doesn't matter really what we do. There we go. Sponsor only spoke of neutralizing the beasts in the element Earth. Didn't evaluate the threat very well. Okay, so we have enough for our first upgrade. So the way they do is you get to activate these lasers up here, dependent on which element. It doesn't have to be frost, uh, just because we're frost. Uh, you can pick one of the others. And then depending on what squares they illuminate, um, that uh, will enable those abilities for you. Um, but sometimes certain lasers don't like to cross each other, depending on their elements. Uh, now, for us, we want this paralysis power. This one's really good. Uh, and I like the precision, so I'm going to go electric here. So, now, we have this calibration down here. So these are sort of, I guess, kind of like MP. We can activate these abilities, but it uses up calibration, which slowly recharges over time. So you want to make them count more, more specifically. Oh, lordy. Okay. Um, hmm. All these electric guys, but we can't kill them in one. Or can we? See, this is what this precision's for. This will give us some 20% damage boost so that we can kill one of these guys in one. It'll give us plus four damage there. 
Yeah, if we kill this, if we bring him down like that. Hmm, if we can take, if we hit the, uh, the, the, the Aguifant one and knock him over here. Yeah, we'll take a hit from, uh, uh, from that. But I think, yeah, so let's turn that off because we don't need the extra damage there. Ah, dang. Sometimes they do two damage. Hopefully we have the parts to fix all these. Alright, let's let's uh, fire up calibration here. Knock you down here. Boom! Now we do need to smack you into you. Uh, he's got high rage. Although, actually, we can just kill the bag with him at this point. Do a little extra damage to both of these guys. And now, yeah, if I set him off, if I, if I do a little uh, collateral damage, he's going to not only attack me, but guaranteed to get his two damage attack in. Uh, whereas if I just directly attack him and defuse his rage, then we might be in a better thing. Or we could tranquilize him. That actually might not be a bad idea. Let's tranquilize him. It'll, it'll only do a little damage, but it stops him from counterattacking and it resets his rage. Um, then, if we knock him over here, kill him, blow up, and now we can kill him precisely without another counterattack. There we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like a puzzle game. And if Darren said that you need to enter in any territory, onwards and upwards. All right, we're building up to our next level up here. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, all right, we can one-shot you. We can one-shot you. Um, let's see. Yeah, we just need to do enough collateral damage to... Yeah, yeah, that's small, that's small. Yeah, let's just do the collateral damage thing. Now he's at maximum rage. That's not good. Yeah, because I won't. He won't. He. I won't kill him if. Uh, Yeah, I think we're going to have to just knock him into the, the, this elephant here. And I'll fix that back up. He's got high rage. We knock him over here, we'll just chain reaction them. Um, yeah, that's not going to help us. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to eat a counterattack. Ah, uh, and we don't have the water to fix these. This is when, this is where things get, start getting hairy. Thankfully we have enough to, to, yeah, barely enough to one-shot him. Where are these parts gone? All right, still working towards our next laser here. Oh, uh, let's see, electric, electric, and fire. Fires, we're not so good against. <laughs> yeah, we're not so good against electric uh, fire. Now, if we now, one way you can get more repair bars is by scrapping parts. Uh, but certain uh, elements of parts will give you certain elements of repair. 
So we've got water damage. Scrapping one of these will give me two. But I think it'll be worth it in that case because we can start one-shotting guys that we previously couldn't. So we'll get that. Get our last spare part here. Bring us back up to 15 damage. Let's see. Um, you might need to burn a calibration here to uh, to crank up the that damage. Yeah, because otherwise we don't one shot this guy. Hmm. Yeah, we need to one-shot this guy. We need to rack up the damage on the the, the collateral damage on the on the fire guy. All right, if we well, if we blast him, that's still we we can't one-shot him, so that's that's no good. And, well, we're out of calibration, so I can't do any tricky shots anyway. So, yeah, let's just kill this guy. Have him blow up. Yeah, unfortunately, we're only going to do five damage a pop, so it's going to take two shots. But at least we can kill him cleanly. Received notifications. Events have been added to the database. An agent identified 12 beasts at once. Ugh. Not looking forward to that fight. There are no notifications that indicate confrontations against several types of beasts. Are these any events sent to the database supposed to pick up geographical position and then transmitting agent's drone. Yet the agent's the event's location is unknown. So something screwy is going on here. Not quite enough for our next laser, so let us continue. Ooh, all right, and we have ourselves a new part. You will occasionally find new parts, and that's how you get other elemental parts, which we are, um, well, well, that fire will be good against Mr. Frost up there. Uh, this is going to suck royally, though. Because, yeah, this is just going to suck royally. We're going to take so much damage from these guys. Ah, uh, we just need to smack these guys against each other. Oops. Yeah, that does only two damage to water, but we're going to have to take it. And we got nothing to heal water damage. Which sucks. Um... Yeah, let's smack you against... Smack. Ow. Well, at least I can one-shot him. This guy's got high rage. If I bump him into him and also blow him up, that will cause this guy to uh, uh, rage out here. So we're just going to knock him over here so he hits this guy and this guy. Not much damage anyway. Yeah, and I mean, I could scrap this part, but then uh, that's not going to do much of anything for me. I could, uh, I could um, paralysis him, but something tells me that's not. Now what do we get? Plus two damage. It's still not ideal. Ow. <sighs> not ideal. I'll 
it's still going to take me two shots to uh, get this guy. Ow! End! <laughs> Can I even take him out? Well, if I smack him against his friend over here. And yes, I can. Ugh. Oh yeah, if you take if you have ten damage on the board, you're dead. So let's see if we can actually survive against this thing. Uh, we're gonna need to scrap one of these. Uh, let's scrap this one just to get some damage off of the board. I need to be able to fit the fire module. Phew! Unfortunately, you don't get to heal up at the end of uh, here. There's Scrap's clothing here. They're from one of our agent's uniforms. What the hell is going on here? All right, good. We get our next laser. So now you can we choose one of these lasers, and depending on what beams it goes over, it uh, it will give us additional thing. Now that being said, you have to keep in mind the element of this laser versus the element of this one. For example, uh, electricity uh, beats water. So if we were to pick the water laser, it eh, doesn't go anywhere. Um. Yeah, meanwhile, if we pick the Earth laser, it cuts off our electrical laser. And trust me, I would have wanted that because I could double up on both of these powers. Um, yeah, water don't work. So we can, if you double up on them, it becomes cheaper to use that power. Um, so I think I'm going to go electrical electric because that'll make paralysis a little bit cheaper. And I think that's worth it. Oh, thank goodness, more parts. Uh, if anything, I might just scrap them for parts. Jeez, two frost guys. Now, at least I get some water against the fire, dude. Well, and hey, hey, I got all these against Earth if I could just heal up. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we're going to... As much as it pains me to scrap uh, other elements, we need the healing. Alright, let's see how much uh, frost stuff we can load up on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, we're back to uh, we're back to some uh, some high high uh, caliber damage here, and I don't mind picking on this guy because we've got all the earth healing parts in the world. Yeah, and we can do some damage just by smacking them into it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll kill them. If I smack them into it and then blow them up. Ah, not quite enough. Well, hey, you didn't disable any of my powers. That's a good thing. And now, well, now we swap this out. Hmm. How's you do it? Yeah, you do pretty well against Frost. Let's pull you out, put you in. 
Yeah, that'll be that'll do enough. All right, let's poke you forward here. I'll take the frost damage. Smack him, blow up, and now this thing's all pissy, and we're going to have to, uh, well, this is what this is for, persistence. Uh, let's see, yeah, this, these aren't, frost is not so good against fire, but that's all we got right about now. Uh, five damage. Not looking forward to suffering this much damage. <laughs> yeah, right, let's get persistence on here. Gonna load these up for one extra damage each. Scrap no, none of these will yield now. I don't wanna I, mean, I guess I could I could scrap these. The the fire one here. Yeah. That'll let me get these parts up and running. I can't even squeeze that in, come on. Hang on, I have a feeling we can make this work for us. Just bear with me. No. No. Ugh, these parts do not play nice with each other. Yeah, they just don't want to play nice with each other. But we need to have the water part in there, because that's a fire guy. Alright, let's... Smack. And two damage there. But we got him. Phew! I didn't get any details of this mission. I don't know where we are, and the beasts keep appearing. There's lacking equipment if it goes on like this. Yeah, we kind of are lacking equipment. I'll send a backing request. No signal. Shit. All right. Electrical. Well, hang on. All right, we can insta-kill this little thing. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Boom. Uh, yeah, now you're at rack maximum rage here. Uh, so we need to be careful. Now, if we put in our electrical part here. Ten damage to that. This guy's rage is high. This guy's rage is high. This guy's rage is maximum. We we might as well shoot him. Okay. 
There we go. All right. So if we bump him up against this guy. Well, first off, how much damage can we uh, can we uh, bring to the table to the Earth guy? Sixteen. Which actually, if we smack him into here, that's actually not a bad idea. Because he'll take the extra damage there. And now we can just smack him into here. Now, if we bump him into here, though, he's going to get his full force attack. So we just want to kill him without bumping him into him. Otherwise, he'll set him off. See, that just brings him to maximum rage, but not over maximum rage. Right then, um, how do you do against fire? You do fine against fire, actually. I actually have some tools against fire now. That's, uh, that's heartening. It's unfortunate that they're the same shape. Actually, put you there. Put you there. All right. Good enough. And now, I think, yeah, let's put on the persistence uh, module here. We want to get him in cleanly in two. Oh, we're out of fire heels, aren't we? Poop. Uh, what are we looking at here? 13 damage. We do 5 damage. We need to get that water back on there. That's more important than any of these. 8 damage. Yeah, these are just awkwardly placed. But if we scrap one of ours, like this one, we should be able to clean these up. And now we can get a little bit more damage on the table. Ooh! Yes, and hopefully that Persistence buff is enough to one-shot him. Yes, it is! Yes! Opponents hired by Solid Structure. Bastards! Somebody is here to face your faction's filth. <laughs> Asking yourself how to sponsor the communist Solid Structure. You tricked us. Yeah, apparently all these all these sponsored companies that send these drones here are all named after uh, different elements. And we're by cold circuits. I don't know about solid structure. True. Don't mock me with your stories. Damn four eyes in this mission. Clean the sector my arse. Admit it. This is yours. <laughs> it's a trap. Ooh, Herc. Okay, no level up yet, but I'm happy with the shape of our craft right now, because we've now got some elemental diversity. Oh, and some new parts, too. I don't think we're going to be able to... Uh... Well, let's let's see. Let's see. Oh, uh, we can one-shot you. We can two-shot you. Fire guy is going to be the problem here. It's unfortunate that you are way the heck away from here, out in the boonies. I can't get you to blow up on anybody. Well, let's just eight, let's just ice you. And I think what I might do is I'll uh, kick up the uh, kick up the damage here because that's a medium size. So knocking him into him will do two extra damage. So that will turn this into a one-shot. 
There we go. All right, now we just have one pissed off fire guy to uh, deal with here. But we do 10 damage to fire, so we can two shot him, provided we can keep our equipment intact. And that's not keeping our equipment intact. Oh no, that we only lost one damage there, so we can still one shot him. He's dead. If Beast hadn't barged in, I would have found out more. Rival agent spoke of a sponsor working for the company's solid structure. Probably his drone supplier. To carry out the mission I was given? As if the mission's crappy enough without the, the other factions getting involved. Uh, almost there. Almost. And the beasts just keep getting bigger. <laughs> Oh, lordy. Okay. Um, well, uh, we do have some fire modules to put the hurt onto him. So. Hmm. Let me think of the best way to do this. All right, all right, that works. So that gives us, um, well, it's still not as much as I'd like it to be. I mean, you do do the, yeah, you do the most to uh, frost here. Hmm. We could... No, I don't want to sacrifice that part for that. I don't want to sacrifice that part. All right. We smack you down here. You're going to take three damage from the uh, concussions here. All right, 13... Uh, we gotta do something to to, to heal this uh, heal this damage. Something to get the water back on would be uh, ideal. Uh, but I don't want to sacrifice this. Hmm. If we. We take the you know, I'm not throwing that part away. Yeah, let's do that. Smack him into him. Okay. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. All right, then we swap these parts out. I'll just leave that there for a second. Eight damage, but he'll die to the uh, to the impact here. Now I guess I could smack him over here, but then he'll get an extra attack on me. So. And yeah, I know, now he's all pissy. Alright, let's get that electric gun in place here. It's about how far can you go? Yeah, I wish I could part these out for something more efficient. All right, that's still an appreciable amount of damage. Yeah, 
8 damage. Hmm, we could... We could tranquilize him to knock him over one. Let's do that. And then if we do a proper shot, that will do eight to him, plus the two from knocking him into here. Okay, now we're in business. Now we have to whittle down these water guys with uh, uh, not the right tools. Because, yeah, these only do two against water. Let's Let's get rid of one of these fires here. So that we can heal up that damage, so that we can equip that, do a little bit more damage. Okay. That will kill him. That will cause him to enrage, though. But if I just smack him into here, then... Well, actually, yeah. We could just knock him, smack him around to death. All right. Get that back in place. Let's get that back in place. 10 damage to water. Actually, we kill them both like this. Double kill. The beasts originating from such different ecosystems find themselves in shared environment. Usually the beasts don't migrate from one region to another. Their migrations are faction mode of notice and impact doesn't make sense all right we get our next laser finally now uh, what abilities can we unlock Ooh, we can get another round of paralysis and that doesn't conflict with electric so paralysis now only takes five and we also got uh, conduction as a as an option here okay what do we got here Let's see you got frost who's going to be a problem we got electric and we got water i think we just smack these two the, the these two guys into each other I think that would be the best option. Yeah, you're not much against that. Well, I could throw you in there to have a little bit of extra oomph against uh, against the frosty guy. But I think for now, yeah, you got nothing against water. Only one against electricity, so. Yeah, I think our current loadout is the best we can do. Yeah, I think we'll just smack these two into each other. What did uh, what did I lose here? Oh, hey, an electrical damage. I can I can fix that easy. Let's see. Can we do more electrical damage? We need to be able to do more electrical Perfect. 
Oh, that works out so well. Because that way we can smack him into him, and that way we won't over-enrage this guy. Boom! Now, I think for Mr. Barris Maximus here, I think what we'll do here is um, we'll get our, get our lightning part back in here. There we go. Uh, we'll fire up our tranquilizer so you don't get all pissy. And then we will smack you into you. Suffer one attack from... Ow! That was a three damage attack. Oh, can I even win this fight? Uh, what are we? We're still packing. Let's see, you, he's he's got no rage, so we can smack the bear into him without issue. We just need to be able to one shot the bear. Now we can count on one damage from smacking him into the little guy. Uh, six. All right, perfect. That'll that'll work. Oh, that was close. We're at two hit points, and we don't quite have enough uh, <laughs> repair modules. Judging by the state of the area, all these beasts have invaded it recently. But how did these beasts get here? We'll keep following the direction of what seems to be where these beasts came from. Gah! Well! Hi there! Let's see what we got here. We got uh, we got some earth, and we still have a lot of our frost parts. So, if we can fit, the keyword if we can do what a somewhat more appreciable amount. All right, you know what? We gotta we gotta start scrapping some of these. I mean, unless we can go... No, yeah, we are... We can build ourselves pretty well against fire. But I still want to take this guy out. Well, you know what? We could blow him up to... Uh... All right, so let's, let's try this. Just because maybe the parts fit a little bit better. No, not, uh, not bad. Yeah, we gotta be careful about who we attack because if they uh, they could they could kill us if they do a two damage attack on us. Also, who the other question is who do we have? Who you know we can bully this guy only because we've got plenty of heals. So let's bully this guy. Kill me! Oh, a few. All right. Now, yeah, his rage is high right now. If I smack him into here, he will kill me. I can't. I can't not do that. Like I can't. I can't do that. Uh, we're gonna have to tranquilize this guy. But then I won't be able to smack him into something else. If I smack him into here, then I think we might be in better, better shape. Um, let's, let's, let's equip ourselves for electricity damage here. Put 
you there, but nah, I can't fit it. Yeah, that's all I can do, so. Ah, dang it! He did two damage to me. I had a 50-50 chance there. All right, folks, that was Pharmacon. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a fun little game. Um, you can find it out on Steam now. Uh, so if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.